Welcome back everyone. Here's a uh, other repair of a uh, 75 65 inch TV. It's a Vizio P65 E1 and the problem with this TV is it has no standby light whatsoever. You press the power button and it does not turn on at all. It's a black screen and nothing. It's just looking like a dead uh, TV here. So we'll be opening this up. All you need is a screwdriver and a multimeter and and an ice cube tray to organize your screws, but all the screws are the same, so just you can use any kind of tray. When you lift this up, again, the power button is at the top, so you have to disconnect that before we can have a look at the internal circuits there. And uh, we'll, we'll just remove the top there, and then we can have access to all the main uh, boards. So this is the main processing board. Uh, the middle board there is for your backlights. It's an inverter board to regulate all the backlights and then to the right here, uh, we have the power supply board. So my first uh, thought was uh, it's a it's not having any power. So let's have a look at this. I, I disconnected everything, unplugged the TV, and I was going to use my multimeter and then just going to test it all the major components. So the very first thing that I thought I would check out is these um, black guys. They're the MOSFETs on these heat sinks, and this using your multimeter in continuity mode just make sure that there's no short so if there's no short then they should be good because those are either some uh, diodes or their MOSFETs there and both of those components should not be shorted okay so I test them out they seem to be okay I didn't see anything burnt now you could just replace the a power supply board by using this uh, sticker there uh, but uh, I like to replace the components. You'll also notice there are some fuses on the board so you can test them out and also diodes as well. So I tested out those. Everything, everything seemed to be okay. So I reconnected everything back up and I'm just going to check out the voltages now. We have some uh, ground and some uh, PS on. Uh, you want to check the PS on. You should get 5 volts. So the very first thing is I connected one probe lead to the ground and it's labeled there on the printed circuit board and you can see I'm getting 4.98 volts which is spot on there we got 5 volts and the other voltage we got is 18.9 which goes to the main board and then to the back lights we have 27 volts which is good and 27 volts so this led me to thinking this power supply is good the issue is probably the main board and that's what was indeed the problem. Now you could just order a new main board, but I couldn't find any. I, I looked on eBay. So what I ended up doing, I put it in the oven at 300 degrees for 10 minutes and then letting it cool down. I'm just going to put it back in and this is called reflowing. So I reflowed the main processing board because that's why it's not turning on. It's not even displaying the standby light is because of this bad main board. And after doing that, I uh, can now test it out to see if it's working and let's have a look there we go there's the the Vizio uh, logo there so that was the problem now this uh, could fix the TV for uh, a couple months a year we don't know but uh, uh, it's, it's been working now and hopefully your TV will be back in working condition as well if you have any other questions about re uh, electronic repair you can also comment in the comments below